A patient with clustered white lesions on the buccal mucosa opposite first and second molar are pathognomonic for measles. These are now you get all the information that is required for this question from these three words only pathognomonic for measles. Now, if you see here, the arrows are showing certain grayish papules and some arithmetous papules, right? And uh, these particular legends, uh, these small sand uh, uh, papery uh, legends are known as the complex spots. These are known as the complex spots, and these spots are pathognomic for measles. So we get the answer here itself. But yes, we'll be discussing uh, in detail about the uh, measles here. So if we talk about the measles itself, so the measles. Uh, there are three clinical phases for measles. One is your incubation period, then you have your prodromal phase, and then you have the pathological phase or the final stage of the disease. Final stage, or we call it as pathological stage or phase of the disease. Now, what happens uh, in measles? The involvement in the final stage, of course, there will be involvement of the neck, of face, of trunk, of hairline. Okay, so even the arms and the legs, right? So along with fever, there will be fever as well, right? So these are the basic symptoms. But we should know the incubation period, uh, the time from which the infection has occurred, and the first clinical picture or the symptom is coming or appearing, right? So that generally appears between six to nineteen days, and that is followed by prodromal phase now this prodromal phase is generally 3 to 5 days again it varies from 2 to 5 days and it can be more even but in this case there will be low grade fever low grade fever and uh, it can be moderate also the fever can be moderate also there will be dry cough there will be conjunctivitis and yes there will be Choresia. Okay, so these are the prodromal symptoms, and these generally precede a pathognomic sign, and that is known as the complex spores. So these all symptoms, which are seen in the prodromal phase, and that's why we call as the prodromal symptoms, they generally appear two to three days before the complex spores. Now, what are complex spores? Now, these complex spores are basically enanthematous reddish or sometimes they are called as grayish white spot and these generally are seen opposite molars in the buccal mucosa in the uh, opposite to the molars generally first and second molars on the mandibular side right so this is something uh, which we have discussed about the measles and yes we have to understand the Pathognomic feature here, and that is going to be your complex spores. So, let's quickly walk through the explanation here. So, in the measles, incubation period is 6 to 19 days, prodromal illness can be 2 to 5 days. Here it is given 1 to 3 days, again it is variable, and that will be involving uh, respiratory symptoms. There will be rashes on the skin, there will be conjunctivitis, and there will be complex spores which are pathognomic for this particular disease. Okay, so what are complex spores? These are small white spores or grayish white spores surrounded by erythema on the buccal mucosa. So that is important about the complex spot and here you get your answer as well, right? So there will be generalized lymphadenopathy and diarrhea. These are going to be the common symptoms. Now uh, here, yes, we can see that there will be hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue in case of measles, right? So, if we just quickly look at these grayish areas here, and there will be erythema around these grayish uh, papules, or very uh, that will be giving a papery appearance to the buccal mucosa, and these are generally seen opposite to the uh, molars, first or second molars generally, and mandibular molars more probably. So, if we go back to the question, the answer is of course going to be very simple. That is your option two, complex spots.